All right, guys, today you're going to do a little activity where you're working in a partner, that means in a partner group, which means you and one other person. Partner, pair means two, two people. When you're working in partners, there's some things that you need to understand and you need to do and show so that you are doing exactly what you're in here to do. You're not goofing off or playing games, but you're actually working and learning at the same time. So I have an acronym here, PARTNERS, and I have something that means um, for each letter. So P, participate actively. Participate with your partner. Do not just sit there and say, oh, okay, yeah, sure, you can do all the work. I'm just going to sit here. No. You have to participate with the other person. It's a group effort. Both of you need to do what is asked. Not one or the other, but both. That's why you're in a partnered group. A. Ask questions. Say your partner understands and they're just moving along and they're writing the answers and they're doing all this and you're just kind of like, you don't understand what's going on or you don't understand what you're talking about, what your partner is talking about. Ask a question. Ask your partner. Raise your hand. Ask the teacher. Do not just sit there and let the other person do all the work. Ask a question. Don't be afraid to ask questions. In this room, you're in a safe place. You always can ask questions no matter what. R, respect others' thoughts. If your partner feels some way, you should respect that, even if you don't feel the same way. Everybody's different and everybody's unique, so you need to always remember that even though they don't feel the same way as you, their thoughts are important as well. T, take turns. If you're doing an activity where you're playing some kind of activity or a game, don't hog it. Don't just sit there and not participate. Take turns with it. You go, then the other person goes, then you go, then the other person goes, and so on. And never give up. Don't give up and put your head down and, oh, I can't do this. Never, ever, ever give up. Giving up is not an option in this classroom. I don't ever want to hear, I give up or I can't. You can do anything that you put your mind to. And so N means never give up. If you have problem, Ask a question to me, ask a question to your partner. Never give up. E, explain your answer. Okay, so you found an answer. Great. Why is that the answer? How did you find that answer? In fourth grade this year, you're gonna maybe do something new that you've never done before. All the time, you're gonna need to explain your answer, where you found your answer, how you came up with your answer, show your work to the problem, Always explain how you did it. If you can explain your answer, then you really understand what you're talking about. R, respect others' answers. Say you and your partner come up with two different answers. No shouting at the other partner be because you think they're wrong. You need to respect their answer. They might be wrong and you might be right, or it could be the other way around and they're right and you're wrong. But you're not going to give up. You're going to respect their answer, and then you're going to wait to see, oh, who really is right? There's no reason to make another person feel bad about their answer. Last one, S. Stay with your partner. You should not be moving over to other groups and other partner groups or pairs while you're in your partners. You should be working with your partner and your partner only. If you have a question, ask your partner, ask me. However, you need to stay with that partner. I have assigned you with that person for a specific reason, so I need you to stay with them and do what you're asked. Participate, ask questions, respect them and their thoughts, take turns with them, never give up, explain your answer, respect their answer, and you always need to stay with them. So when working in partners, remember all of these things. We're gonna actually do an activity here in a few minutes where you're going to have to work with a partner and after working with the partner I'm gonna ask you what are the things you did with your partner out of this list here that helped you figure out your answer or work together to complete your task so remember some of these and tell and be able to tell me which ones you used thanks